I vowed to suck your blood. <laughs> Can't get it off. Hey and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and this is my review for Netflix's original anime series, Castlevania Season 4. It's the final season, which is very sad to me, but I'm also very excited to talk about it. This is a non-spoiler review. We will be doing an ending explained later. I should also say that this uh, review is sponsored by DVD Fab. We're living in a world now that is opening since COVID has restricted us from going out and we're going to be traveling uh, a lot more using trains, planes and automobiles. <laughs> Now we have so many viewing options, but sometimes we don't have all the data. And this DVD Fab allows you to download all the stuff that you own or have subscriptions to, to uh, kind of not use up all your data, also just to have at hand so you can download it onto your laptop. You can download it onto mobile devices. I'll show you how to use it at the end of the review, but for now I should say it's pretty cool, it's pretty awesome. I have checked it out myself. So let's go and uh, do the review. In the epic final season of Castlevania, Wallachia collapses into chaos as factions clash. Some attempting to take control, others attempting to bring Dracula back from the dead. Nobody is who they seem and nobody can be trusted. These are the end times. So we get another 10 episodes here for the final conclusion of this epic story that we've been going through. End of season three did that thing that anime and stories sometimes do where we see our characters go from one end to the other and eventually we're gonna see them all come together while well, some of them as the story concludes and goes uh, it completes its story arc, its major round arc. I have to say, I felt very satisfied with the ending, so I'm kind of jumping right to the end of the spoiler review, non spoiler review here. Uh, just because I wanted to say up front, I feel like they've done it to justice. It feels awesome um, the way they completed the multiple storylines, and it does feel like satisfyingly ending. So if you're worried about that going into it, I would say don't worry. For me, this season I think is the best, although I do miss Dracula. Uh, just because I thought the first four episodes, that first short f season that was four episodes long, I thought was fantastic just because I loved everything that we saw with Dracula there. And without going into spoilers, I just wanted to say that the action in this is fantastic. I mean, every single episode throughout the 10 episodes feel like they've just gone, here you go, guys, this is for the fans. We're going to give you our best animated action sequences. And it looks beautiful. It's fluid in motion. You get to see the action, although it's sometimes very, very fast, but you still get to see it. So they slow it down at the appropriate times. They show you this, these incredible movements. It doesn't get old because they're always fighting different types of uh, monsters you know we have Alucard who is coming to his own as a character they've spent quite a bit of time in developing his character and this time I think a few people are going to be surprised at where they take his character I for one didn't mind it I thought it was very interesting seeing him become something else that what what he isn't at the beginning or the end of season three he's trying to find himself and i feel like that for the most part is what this season is we have the Belmont and his mrs the magic user lady cypher um who are developing their own relationships and standing on their own two feet and so we have all these chessboard pieces with our characters hector isaac camilla they all have their own stories to play and eventually they all come into fruition but what was great about this is that you get single episodes that kind of spend more time on one particular character but it is also amazing in how much they can um, tackle within the storyline so sometimes you might be thinking back well aren't they rushing through the storyline quite quickly there's a lot going on here do you feel like they're rushing the story i would say yes and no because the way they tell the story instead of just doing dump of exposition in a place where the characters are sitting and is going oh this is happening now or this is going to happen now they often do it through action sequences so we're getting what's going on on screen through amazing choreographed action sequences well designed you know through the animation and it just looks phenomenal and you're trying to catch your breath as things are going biff boss and splat and they don't um they don't shy away from the gore once again so if you're enjoying the gore you're going to get a lot more of that of monster gore and heads flipping but then we also get the storyline of the conversations of characters develop, developing um, through the action sequences. So rather than slowing down the pacing, they keep it up that frenetic action throughout 10 episodes, which I thought was a blooming fantastic way to do it. There are moments that you are really going to feel for the plight of our main characters, especially Cypher and um, the, Mr. Belmont, Trevor Belmont. Um, I really like the kind of camaraderie, the, the weird snappy dialogue that they have, uh, Cypher and um, Alucard and, and uh, Trevor Belmont together. 
um, when they're playing off each other, I think that works really well. Apart some of the new characters as well, I think work fantastic. The dialogue sometimes can be just kind of substandard, just the delivering certain lines um, in certain animes. But I think here they've kind of found their feet for what their actors are needed to do to bring to bring their characters alive. And I felt that was very well done. So then we have the score, which I've heard a few reviewers say that they thought the score was subpar in this one. I thought it was fantastic, especially episode 9 and 10 and really kind of driving up those emotional beats when we're getting into the, the you know, that last bit of the arc where things are just hitting the fan, body parts are hitting the fan and uh, our our heroes are in real turmoil for the first time in the series you know it's been driving up you really feel like well because it's the end of the series we don't know what's going to happen so we don't know if our heroes are going to survive and i'm not going to tell you if they do or not but you really feel that plight and the music with it crescendos into to those big moments where you expect the unexpected to happen basically and um, I think it was really a driving force a driving character in those moments and when uh, the story needed to take precedent it kind of settles down behind and is in, you know just in the background kind of helping the characters develop uh, which I thought was excellent all in all I thought was fantastic I think I gave the, uh, season one an A plus I'm also going to give season four an A plus because I really liked what they did with the ending ending and I know some people won't like it but for me I felt very satisfied and talking about being satisfied, you know, Netflix are delivering such amazing content at the moment. And like I said, we're on the go. DVD Fab um, is this app that I thought was actually quite unique because each person has a license of their own for the purchasing of when you have a Netflix or Amazon or Disney Plus subscription. Sometimes you don't have time or the place to watch those. And if you own DVDs and 4K, um, Blu-rays or anything of that that you've bought that you own that you have a license for yourself so you can't copy it and give it to anybody else but this does give you the option and really quite easily to be able to copy and download those things to watch at a later date or just have in a version of a file format that you want there are a lot of options that you can choose I'll leave links in the bottom below you can get some percentage off if you go and have a look at their website here is me showing you how you can do it as well I, th I thought it was fantastic and really easy to navigate as you can see if you use the Netflix downloader you can download not only one or two episodes but entire seasons ready for you to queue on your devices like laptop or mobile phone so if you're on the go and you don't want to use all of your network mobile data or if your Wi-Fi is playing up and you just want to use your memory you can uh, by using this app which I thought was quite fantastic. So let me know what you thought about that the links in the description below I want to say thank you very much DVD fab for sponsoring this video um, It helps keep this channel afloat. Let me know which is your favorite season so far of Castlevania. Thanks so much for um, Supporting the Ruby Tuesday got loads of interesting reviews It's chocked full of reviews week this week big titles because the world's opening up again uh, look forward to my Quiet Place 2 review coming soon. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.